So apparently black voters in Chicago are not happy with the Democrat Party. Listen to this. This morning I heard Mayor Brandon Johnson say that the sentiment in the black community is waning. A lot. The sentiment is not waning. We are not okay with you taking our resources and giving them to people who don't live here. As Mark stated before, you are preparing housing for them. One of the reasons that the city of Chicago was able to close 50 schools was because of the black flight. And the reason we had a black flight was because there is no affordable housing in this city. It is because the city of Chicago shut down the voucher system so that blacks who needed to get affordable housing could not. So they had no choice but to flee to other states. But now you found money for the migrants. That's right. We're calling foul. And then another thing you said was that the faith-based leaders oh, were helping to bring around the sentiment. We haven't paid attention to faith-based leaders since Dr. Martin Luther King. And guess what? We're not listening to them now. We understand that they are bought and paid for. We understand that you control the narrative that they are trying to speak about. So let me just say this to you. We're not listening to them the same way we're not listening to you. What you're doing is not okay. And let me just say this other thing. Amundsen Park is still closed. And our mayor has decided that because we didn't support migrants coming to our park, we just ain't going to have a park. I call foul, Mayor. You love to stand around and talk about how you are a black man. That's all you are is a black man. And we know that all black folks ain't skin folks. And those of us who didn't know that, you're giving us a great lesson. So we thank you for that. No, the sentiment has not changed. We are still for black people. We are still for this city supporting us. We are still for black people getting the same set aside that these migrants are getting. Oh, excuse me, not migrants, because what they are is illegal foreign nationals. They are not migrants. They are not coming here illegally. So just because you put lipstick on a pig, it's still going to be a pig. So we are not backing down. We were quiet for a minute. I know you thought that the sentiment has changed. It has not. And like I tried to remind people, not only did I support Brandon Johnson, not only did I campaign for Brandon Johnson, not only did I give him my money, but I want you to know two things. Number one, I'm not a fan. I have bias remorse. Number two, for any independent candidate in the city of Chicago, any Green Party candidate in the city of Chicago, and any Republican candidate in the city of Chicago, now is your time because we are done with the Democratic That's Party. Right. Brandon right. Johnson, Don. Governor Prisca, and President Don. Biden have shown Don. us Don. what they think about the black community all over this country. And so we're standing here today to say, okay, if that's what it is, we win it. We don't have to support the Democratic Party. Right, right. We don't have to continue to sort, support people who are not going to support us. And the Democratic Party here in this city, in this state, and in this country is not supporting us. You got the Republicans on one side and the Democrats on the other side. Guess what? They're part of the same bird. That's right. But two weeks. So it doesn't matter anymore which party we go with. But I'll tell you this, I'd rather deal with the snake that's outfit himself of the Republican Party than the snake that's covered up in the Democratic Party. That's right. We're not going to continue to stand for this. That's We're not going to continue to allow that's our right. state representatives, our congressmen, our aldermen, and our mayor yes. to let us know yes. that we don't matter. Yes. Just like you're going to show us that we're going to matter, we're going to show you. All it's right. going to be a great day in the city of Chicago when a Democratic convention comes here, and then they right. found out in March that a lot of black voters took Republican ballots.
Okay, you let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I think it's funny how this lady just said that she voted for Brandon Johnson. So she voted for this. Democrats have been in control of Chicago for years and years. Just in case you didn't know, according to this article, the Democratic Party right now controls the office of the governor, the secretary of state, the attorney general, and both chambers of the state legislature. Here's the party controlling Illinois. Governor, Democrat, the Senate, Democrat, the House, Democrat. And right here, he is the current leadership of key office. The governor, like I said, he is right here. He's a Democrat. The president of the state Senate, he's a Democrat. And the state speaker of the House is a Democrat. But she's still here talking about Democrat and Republicans are bad. What are you talking about, bro? For the love of Jesus, what are you talking about? Stop voting for Democrat. Do something different. This is insane. You can't make this up. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section. You voted for this. Elections have consequences. Here they are. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. You, you, can't, you can't make this up, bro.